So today uh, we're diving into probably the most underrated tool on Seller Central, uh, Manage Your Experiments. Uh, this feature allows you to A-B test various sections of both parent and child ASINs, including product titles, images, A-plus content, descriptions, and bullet points to get a data-driven view of how a proposed change will impact all of your KPIs. Um, if you've ever made changes to your listing and seen sales drop off a cliff, uh, experiments is the answer for you. Um, you can make changes without fear of losing sales. Um, in fact, ever since experiments launched in late 2022, we have not made any adjustments to any of our eligible client listings without running an experiment first. Um, just as a note, this feature is only available to sellers that are brand registered on Amazon, as well as have a professional Amazon seller account. Uh, so the way to get started with this is to navigate to Brands, and then Manage Experiments. Once you click that, uh, you'll if you've done an experiment in the past, you'll get a screen like this. If you haven't done an experiment in the past, you'll get a slightly different screen. Basically, it'll be an intro to experiments, and it'll show you kind of how experiments work. Um, you, you'll be able to get to creating a new experiment from there. Um, to create a new experiment, you click here. You choose what you want to test. So for example, if we want to test bullet points here, we would select bullet points. If you want to select title, you would test title. So let's just choose title. Um, currently, we've got an active experiment on this ASIN, so we're going to go with this one. Uh, it's also worth noting that there are some ineligible ASINs here. You've got this one, it's got low traffic. So uh, ASINs with at least 700 views in the last 30 days are considered eligible. Um, so if your ASIN isn't eligible, until you get that 700 views, you're going to have to wait, you're going to have to run sponsored ads, you're going to have to do uh, any other kind of marketing. Uh, but in this case, we're going to go and select this ASIN here, and we're going to see that it brings us to this page. Basically, um, you can, uh, first I would select a few settings, here you can select your title, your hypothesis. Uh, basically, a hypothesis is saying if I change, if I include certain keyword or remove certain keyword or replace certain keyword or make my title shorter or include my brand name or not include my brand name in the title, uh, the the performance will be better, the click through rate will be better, the sales will be better. Something will change. Um, you have the option of setting your duration. Um, to significance, significance is basically Amazon deciding, okay, we've now gotten enough data. Uh, to declare a clear winner, or you can set the duration yourself, um, four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, uh, automatically publishing the winning version. Basically, if you are, um, uh, if you have a clear winner, then Amazon will automatically publish it. If you don't, if you select this, if you turn this off, uh, basically you're going to have to publish it manually. Um, which is, I mean, it's completely up to you. I suggest keeping this on just because. Um, it's kind of a hassle to go have to go back and publish it. So that's it. You would uh, obviously need to change the title up. So like this is the current title. You can copy it. You can change what you want here. Um, and then when you're done, you hit schedule experiment. Um, so here we will be able to hit schedule experiment. Uh, let me just do it this way. Just an example here. Make a different change. And here we go. There we go. You hit schedule. And basically what that will mean is, so let's go back to an existing experiment. So in this experiment, you've got, it's been running since uh, March, 13, uh, March 19th, 2024. For reference, today is April 23rd, 2024. So if you see the details here, um, we're running two significance. This is the start date. Uh, we're testing licks, uh, the listings page, and yes, automatically publish the winning version. And here are the results to date. So from March 19th to April 15th, so last week, there's a 52% probability that version A is better. There's a 48% probability that version B is better. For this experiment, there is weak evidence that version A is better, therefore not enough to declare a winner. Um, you can see version A got slightly more sales than version B. Uh, about $100, not a big difference, two units sold. So in this case, you can choose to keep the experiment running. Uh, you can choose to end the experiment and do a new experiment on the same ASIN, uh, but it is completely up to you. Um, the, the one thing to note, as I kind of 
touched on before. Um, you can only run one experiment per ASIN at a time. So if you're looking to test something else for this ASIN, you would need to end this experiment and start a new one. Um, we're still gonna let this experiment run for a little bit. So in the meantime, I'm gonna head back to experiments here. Um, what, one important thing to do with this is to be patient. Um, the last data available is for April 15th. So you can see here, uh, Results to date, March 19th to April 15th, so it hasn't been a full month. Uh, you want to give it at least four to six weeks to see if, if there are any real changes to give it actual time for the data to accumulate. Um, I would say a, another, another thing to note is that you want them to be significant changes like you saw in, uh, in the quick little test I did, if I show you again. Uh, you, you can see Amazon even kind of warns you, like the change you're making is, is very similar to what you have in the past. You're not really gonna get any real data. Uh, as soon as that loads, so you can see here, content versions are similar. Um, you're not gonna get conclusive results. It's possible that you're gonna have two very different titles and you're gonna get very similar results as well. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it's just important to know what you're testing to, to have a clear, goal of your test and to follow the data and where it leads you. Um, yeah, so this has been kind of an overview of Manager Experiments, Amazon's A-B testing feature. Uh, I hope this helps you guys and uh, have a great rest of your day.